What's happening, my Jack family? Coach Scott here, jackedafter40.com. In today's video, I'm gonna be sharing 15 resistance band exercises to bulletproof your body so you can get jacked after 40. Now, there's no doubt that this current situation where our gyms are closed, we're self-isolating, absolutely freaking sucks. But I believe for us men over 40, it presents countless opportunities for us to progress in ways like we never have before and really set the stage for incredible growth once we get back to some normalcy here and the gyms open back up again. The biggest opportunity we have is to address our weaknesses, any muscle imbalances that we may have or any joint in stability. So in today's video, we're going to look at addressing those issues with our shoulders, our core, our hips, basically a lot of the joints within our body, which tend to be common problem areas, kind of limiting factors for a lot of the movements that we perform as men over 40. So if you enjoyed this video, please hit that thumbs up button. If you want to see more videos like this, be sure to subscribe to the channel, hit that alert button so you're notified each time I upload a video. More than anything, I'd love to hear from you down in the comment section below. Share your thoughts, share your insights, share your feedback. If you try any of these exercises, let me know what your experience is like with them. Now, let's get to those 15 exercises. The first exercise is an overhead side step. You're going to step on the resistance band with your feet about shoulder width apart. You're going to cross the band and raise your arms up above your head. So you're going to form an X with that band. You're going to create some shoulder stability at the joint there, but you're really working your hips and your glutes here by taking short little side steps in one direction and back in the other direction. This one's going to catch you off guard. Your glutes and hips are going to be on fire by the end of this. Even when you're done the exercise, just kind of walking around, you're gonna be like, holy smokes, what the heck? You're gonna wake up some muscles like you haven't woken them up before. And as a coach, this has been a great opportunity for me to learn new skills. It's been a while since I've used resistance bands in my training, so I am a student myself right now. I'm just sharing my experiences with you. I am learning some of these movements myself, so I may not be performing them to perfection, but I am absolutely having a blast in the process here and really excited to be sharing this experience with you guys. Exercise number two is shoulder retraction. You're gonna wrap a resistance band around a pole or some secure object, and you're gonna take a few steps back, so you're gonna create a lot of tension on that resistance band. Your arms are going to remain locked, so no bending at the elbows at all. All the movement's gonna take place with your shoulder blades. So you're going to allow those old uh, shoulder blades to open up as you're stretching towards that pole, and then squeeze those shoulder blades together as you're driving those shoulders back. So it's kind of like a shrug, but you're shrugging in a horizontal fashion, rather than a vertical fashion that you're used to. And improving this scapular mobility here, this is great for posture, number one. I mean, so especially if you're sitting at a desk job or you're doing anything where your shoulders are kind of rounded forward a lot of the time, this is gonna help pull those shoulders back. An incredible, incredible exercise for just overall well-being for men, but it's also going to enhance your mind-muscle connection and transfer over into all other back exercises that you perform. Any seated row should begin with a shoulder retraction. You want to do a pull-down should begin with shoulder retraction. So I find that a lot of guys don't have that mind-muscle connection with those muscles that, uh, that create that um, scapula mobility there. So this is gonna really enhance that mind-muscle connection, strengthen those muscles to help you perform your best and develop your back to the best of your abilities. Exercise number three is a single leg Romanian deadlift. You're going to step on the resistance band with one foot. Then with the opposite hand, you're gonna reach over and grab it. And you're gonna to wanna to grab it kind of low on that resistance band. You're gonna want a fair amount of uh, tension here, fair amount of resistance. That band is not only gonna create resistance for that foot that you're stepping on, that's the hamstring that you're gonna be working or working your glutes here as well. Um, so it's gonna create resistance there, but it's also gonna help with some balance and stability. And the great thing about this exercise is that not only are you gonna work your hamstrings and glutes incredibly well here, but you're also going to work those stabilizer muscles with your ankles, with your knees, and with your hips. So really make sure that you are, are performing this exercise with a nice slow, controlled tempo. Don't rush through it. Really focus on your balance more than anything. Focus on how much tension you need to create on that resistance band. So I got my one free hand off to the side to help with balance a little bit, but I'm also pulling on that resistance band with my, my arm there to, to help create that stability there. So you really wanna make sure that you are driving the hips back with this movement, feeling tension in the hamstrings and the glutes, just soft knees, soft knees. You want them to bend a little bit, but you're not thinking of those knees bending. You're just thinking of driving those hips back, keeping those knees soft, so your knee's gonna kinda bend on its own naturally as you're driving that hip 
back, um, but really enhance that mind-muscle connection with your hamstrings here. So another great movement to enhance that mind-muscle connection, another great movement to work on the, the instabilities of the joints and work on some of those muscle imbalances as well. You may find with a lot of leg exercises, um, I know for myself, one of my legs, I feel it just, I naturally want to um, abduct, kind of shift outwards. And then my other leg, there's kind of an inward shift there. So there's a lot of different different imbalances that we have that really carry over to a lot of the compound movements that we're performing and can lead to injuries. So this is a great opportunity. I'm telling you guys, do not... Uh, do not kind of brush this kind of stuff off. This is incredible. This is your opportunity to bulletproof your physique, take your physique to the next level, really set the stage for incredible growth to come. Exercise number four is the pull-off press. This is another one of those movements that looks so simple. It's so deceiving. The tension on your obliques, transverse abdominals, muscles deep within your core is absolutely incredible. So wrapping the resistance band around a pole, taking several steps away from that pole, creating a lot of tension on that band. So my right side is facing the pole here. That's the side where the oblique transverse abdominals are really going to tense up there. You're going to bring that band in close to your chest. And once you push forward, that's when you're going to feel a lot of that tension. Again, a simple movement that packs a powerful punch for your core. Exercise number five is shoulder protraction. Again, a great movement for creating that shoulder stability. Uh, so just step inside that resistance band there. And again, no bending of the elbows here. I don't want you trying to reach crazy far. You're not leaning into this movement. All you're doing is all that, that movement is taking place with the shoulder blades, the scapula. So really pushing forward so the, the shoulder blades open up and then allowing it to come back to, to the set point there. And you can even squeeze the shoulder blades back a little bit, but all the resistance is gonna be pushing for the protraction, the, the pushing for the movement. So everything taking place at the shoulder, try to keep your posture nice and upright, trying to not get any of the other supporting muscles involved. You just wanna be working those muscles um, that create that shoulder mobility, shoulder stability. Exercise number six is the kneeling Superman. This could be one of my favorite exercises. You're gonna get the glutes involved here, your core involved, and your shoulders. Lots of stability going on here. So I've got the opposite hand and opposite foot within the band, and I'm keeping my posture nice and straight. So try, trying to keep the, the, two, the hand and knee on the ground are both at uh, a 90 degree angle here. And as you're reaching outwards, again, you're going to create a lot of stability in that shoulder joint with the arm that's going up. And with that leg that's going up, you're going to feel your glutes engage like crazy. And the whole time, as soon as your arms are going up, your core is going to engage intensely. This is, it's, it's a phenomenal movement. It's something that I'm going to be incorporating into my training from here on out. It's that effective, whether I'm using it as a nice little warm up, a nice little cool down or something to do just at home, uh, something to do kind of in my spare time when I'm kind of winding down. Um, just a great phenomenal movement. Again, great mind muscle connection. Just keep your posture nice and steady here, a nice flat back there. You don't want your hips to drop. You don't want your hips tilting and all that to one side or the other when you're kind of reaching upwards as well. Try to keep yourself as square and stable as possible. Exercise number seven is gonna work the muscles in the back of your neck. The neck is a muscle group that you don't really think of working. There's no real equipment in the gym, rarely, to work your neck muscles. So here, you're gonna have a resistance band. You're gonna apply that pressure on the back of your head there, and you're pulling the band forward in front of you. And basically, you're just tucking your chin into your neck. So you wanna to try to do your best to keep your body stable. You don't wanna be rocking your body backwards. You want all the movement taking place at the, the neck there. So just tuck your chin into your neck, create a little double chin there, and then back to normal position, neutral position, and then push that chin back into your neck, back to neutral position, push it in. Just create a little bit of tension there. Again, don't rush this movement, be cautious with your neck as always, uh, but it's really important to strengthen these neck muscles. This is an opportunity here, something that you probably would have never thought of doing, and probably something that you're gonna want to incorporate into your training from here on out. Exercise number eight is shoulder external rotation. Just wrap that band around a pull. Keep your elbow tucked into your side. You don't want that elbow leaving your side at all. Just work within your own personal range of motion here. You're gonna wanna probably be in a little closer to the pole, depending on how much resistance your resistance band has, how much kind of poundage it can, can pull there. Um, but bottom line is you wanna be able to try to 
externally rotate as much as you you possibly can and really creating that that shoulder stability that strength of that shoulder joint with this movement it's a great movement to incorporate at the beginning of your workouts from here on out great warm-up exercise for any upper body workout Exercise number nine is a kneeling hip extension. You can wrap the band around a pole, you can wrap it around your bed post, you can wrap it around a dresser as I'm doing here uh, in the house if the weather is not cooperating with you out there. Basically you want something heavy to wrap that band around. This movement is absolutely phenomenal and what we're working on here is really strengthening your glutes. Strong glutes lead to a strong back, strong healthy back. So just kind of sitting back on your heels, making sure you have a lot of resistance in that band uh, when you're pulling through. And the peak, the peak of that movement, the peak of the contraction, you should be feeling an incredible amount of resistance on that band. And even when you're sitting back on your hips, there should still be resistance through that entire range of motion. I really want you focusing on popping the hips forward and squeezing your glutes like crazy. So the whole purpose of this movement, strong glutes for a strong, healthy back. Exercise number 10 is an overhead jackhammer. This is one that I'm starting to get comfortable with myself, a new movement to me, and one that's really kind of uh, making me aware of some of the instabilities I have uh, on my right side with that right scapula there. So I'm um, just kind of squatting down, bending over a little bit with this, and then bringing those arms up. So you can use a little bit of momentum and you're directing those thumbs up, those arms up and getting some external rotation there of the shoulders there. So great for the rear delts, great for creating some shoulder stability and scapula stability here, scapula mobility. Um, just again, another phenomenal movement, something that would be a great warm up exercise before any upper, upper body workout as well. Exercise number 11 is an oblique corkscrew. You're gonna want to tie that band around a pole somewhere up high, and you're gonna kind of have it kind of wrapped around your upper arm there, and then hold onto it with your hand, and basically kind of step forward or lean forward with your band crunching and then a little bit of a twist there to really feel the obliques contract. So step forward, twist and crunch at the same time, really working those obliques, transverse abdominals. Again, so deceptively easy looking here, but really great for strengthening your core. Working those obliques, transverse abdominals and kind of those muscles deep within the core are key for us men over 40. Exercise number 12, we're gonna work the muscles on the side of your neck, so grab that resistance band. The side that you wanna be working, that's where you're gonna have the band hooked up on, and then use your hands to pull on the resistance band on the other side. You wanna keep your shoulders square, keep the shoulders down. All the movement's just gonna take place at your neck, just trying to bring your head down to your shoulder as far as you can. You're not looking at exaggerating any movement here, and be very cautious with this movement. Anytime you're working your neck, you really wanna be cautious here. Um, but but still, it's very important to strengthen those muscles within the neck. So just a little bit of tension, ease into it. And again, don't wanna be trying to shrug those shoulders up to assist in that movement. Try to make it feel like you're creating a greater range of motion. You don't need to do that. Work within the shorter range of motion to strengthen those neck muscles. Exercise number 13 is the face pull, which is one of my favorite exercises for shoulder health, creating that joint stability, really working the rear delts as well. Um, just great development of the rear delts and upper back area. So you really wanna focus on first driving those elbows back and then externally rotating. So I'm pointing my thumbs back behind me and trying to keep my hands out uh, as wide as I can. So grabbing that band out nice and wide and then driving those thumbs out wide as well. So really trying to drive those elbows back as far as you can and then externally rotating at the shoulder joint, pointing those thumbs back as far as you can there. Uh, play around with the resistance. You want some resistance throughout the full range of motion, but you want to be able to make sure that you complete the full range of motion with this exercise. So don't stand too far back where you're not able to drive those thumbs back behind you to the best of your ability. Exercise number 14 is internal rotation of the shoulder joint. And this is an area that we're usually pretty strong in, um, but it's still great. We wanna make sure that we are doing everything we can to create overall shoulder stability and really strengthen that shoulder joint to the best of our ability. So working in some internal rotation is still going to be very helpful, even though we tend to be weaker with the external rotation. And last but not least, exercise number 15, another great one to work your neck. This is actually a pretty cool movement. Really glad I discovered this one. So you're gonna start with that band uh, on the back of your head, cross it over in front of you, and then hold that band up in front of you. So it's, it's, it's crisscrossed there. And you're just gonna turn your head to one side, do several reps to 
to one side and then several reps to the other side. The tension is really cool and unique. It's a, it's a pretty gentle movement. Don't rush through this exercise. You shouldn't be rushing through any of these neck exercises, but just really, I find this one is fantastic for um, that neck mobility there. So a simple movement, I mean, that's an action that we do every single day, shoulder checks in our car. Um, and it's an area that oftentimes we may have poor mobility on one side. We find it tougher to turn our neck to one side. So this is gonna help strengthen those neck muscles. I found it really, really cool. Definitely something that I'm going to be incorporating into my overall training as well. I hope you enjoyed today's video. If you did, please hit that thumbs up button. I'd really appreciate it. If you wanna see more videos like this, be sure to subscribe to the channel and hit that alert button so you're notified each time I upload a video. More than anything, I'd love to hear from you down in the comment section below. Share your thoughts, share your insights, share your experiences with these resistance band exercises. Before you go, don't forget to download your free copy, Jacked After 40. Hope you have yourself an absolutely amazing day. I'll catch you in the next video.